<laughs> it is sad that when every major election cycle comes around, that political candidates tend to focus on the youthful voter, the young voter. Now, have you ever asked yourself why that is? Maybe it's because the youthful voter is so woefully unaware of all these politicians and their political pasts. That's why they focus on them. That's next on Conservative News, so stick around. Okay, let's take Hillary Clinton for example. Hillary is pushing her $350 billion college tuition program, free college tuition, or, or whatever, whatever the hell it is. But guess who she's pushing it to? College kids, youthful voters. But if these youthful voters actually vote for Hillary and she gets in, their four years of college are going to be up before this plan even gets implemented. You do realize that, don't you, youthful voters? And all these youthful voters are out there and they're so excited. They're so excited to vote for Hillary in 2016. Rah, rah, rah. Let's vote for Hillary. Hillary Clinton's husband, Bill, was out acting out on his sexual predator inklings. These youthful voters, you guys, you guys that are going to vote for Hillary, you weren't even born yet. So you have no idea what it was like to have Bill Clinton look at the camera and say to America and wag his finger that he, and say that he did not have sex with Monica Lewinsky when everybody knew that he did. And, you, and he did all this when you young political novices who think you know everything there is to know about life, liberty, and the pursuit of hipsterism, you know, being cool. He did all this when you, you guys weren't even born yet. You had yet to take your trip down the birth canal. And now you're going to make a decision on voting for Hillary Clinton when you don't know anything about the Clintons' past. Even before some of you were born, Bill Clinton committed perjury again when he looked at America right in the camera and said he didn't have sex with Monica Lewinsky. If you weren't alive at that time, you have no idea what a joke that was. Bill Clinton committed perjury in front of the entire nation. And all you youthful voters didn't get to experience that. And now all these first-time voters will be making the woefully uninformed journey into the voting booth based on candidates who spend the most money, have the biggest social media presence, and have the hippest haircut, and maybe show up on MTV. And that is what is going to influence these political virgins. Losing your political virginity is a lot like losing your actual virginity, in that what you seem to go for is the most attractive, best feel-good thing at the time. The only problem with that is, is that decision that you make right then and right there will affect your lives for decades to come. And this is what is so attractive to political machines like what Hillary Clinton is running. She's consuming more lives and building an ever-expanding government edifice for herself. And she loves political virgins because they have yet to figure out how rigged the entire system is. And you know what? They actually think that politicians are going to keep their promises. <laughs> right, right. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Political Virgin. No, they won't keep their promises. Alan with Conservative News, and we will see you later. Mm -hmm.